The purpose of the Mad Sad Glad retrospective is to gain insight on past events and how these events affected your team. From there, we can discuss and vote for a future plan. Remember, you can use this template whether your team is in the same room or spread around the world. Quite simply, this map asks participants what made them mad, what made them sad, and what made them glad about a past objective. Creating your own is easy. Simply head to My Maps, click Create Map, type in the search templates bar, MAD, and there it is. On this page, we're given options to customize the map, so you can change the name, objectives, design, and even the overall processes involved in the map itself. For example, here in the brainstorm phase, you can make it so the facilitator being yourself you can be the only one who adds ideas, or everyone, and you can make the brainstorm style collaborative where everyone sees each other's answers as they're plotting them, or individual where participants can only see their own answers until the later stages. You can change anonymous settings. So down the bottom here, currently we're fully anonymous, which means that participants' names won't be revealed but you can turn this off so that participants will be named and they're more accountable for their answers. You can also change the amount of votes that you want to give participants. So really this comes down to how many votes participants can allocate to their favorite ideas. And you can select how many you'd like to give them. We'll stick with three. Once you're satisfied with your customization decisions, just head to the bottom and click create. So now that we've generated our Mad Sad Glad retrospective, you'll probably want to invite participants to your page. So in the top right hand corner here, there's a green invite tab. Click on that and you can send your participants via email address the link. There's also a map ID link which is randomly generated and a regular link which you can send straight away to, you, to participants that you wish to add. I should also mention that if at any stage you want to go back and, and reselect some of the options that you just did in the customization phase, you can head to that top toolbar there in the top left hand corner, click customize, and you go straight back to that page. Once you've made your re-edits, same process, just head to the bottom and click return to map. So now to display the real time aspect of group map, let's say that this is the facilitator yourself, and let's say that this is a participant that you've added. So in real time, as the participant plots their ideas, the facilitator can see. Participants can also add descriptions to their thoughts, to their ideas. They can also add images. So once the brainstorm phase has been completed and everybody's plotted their own ideas, you can head to the grouping stage here is really where you can influence discussion amongst your team members. You can also group ideas that are really similar. So let's say that the thought and reflection ideas are quite similar. You can click on those two and hit create. They fall under the same idea now. If for whatever reason you want to cancel that, you can click on the little cross button here. And Next up in the action phase, as the facilitator, you can select any idea that's been plotted say idea four, we can add an action. So this can be any particular action. Uh, you can make anybody complete this, let's say not John, but John, and you can choose when you want that action to be completed by as well. And this will show up in the results as a little flag. The final results tab is basically an overview. So all of the brainstorm ideas that have been made, any grouping, voting or action decisions that have been made will be displayed here. And groups and facilitators can just sit back and basically decide upon whether they're happy with all these decisions. If not, you can always go back and change things. So finally, to save these results and download your reports, head to the top left hand sidebar here, click on that. Fourth one down is reports. So yeah, here you can download the report as a image, a JPEG PDF file, 
basically it summarizes the ideas that have been made, participants involved, uh, all of your brainstorm grouping voting action phases, nice little overview of every decision that's been made. You can go into the sidebar again and lock this map to prevent further changes. If we go back into our map gallery, it appears as the latest uh, map that's been worked on. You can always click on that again and the results will be opened. Hopefully this video effectively displays how quick and easy it is to create a mad, sad, glad retrospective. It really is a great way for everybody to, to collectively contribute wherever they are in the world and discuss things on the spot, voting for the best results and creating an action plan for the future. If you liked this video, please follow us on the links below or check out some of our other videos to help your teams think better together.